Hello, I'm Lieutenant Gold Larsen from IT Political Associations of Denmark. We are actually 20 people to, today until Tuesday here in Brussels to come here and especially to work on some members of the parliament. I'm going to talk about politics, the privacy CD, which yeah, I have one here too. Uh, and my purpose, of course, here is to make you all really interested. So you all come and, and join us or help us. You can help us make politics, or it's just as good if you just want to work on the technologies I'm talking about. I'm going to do that by appealing to technical candidates, your love for open source, and your responsibilities as human beings. Um, we all know the political background on September 15, 2007, in Denmark, where actually started all this data retention and logging. I know all places in Europe are late, but Denmark is kind of a test bed, so we have some experiences already. You know how it goes, they log uh, phones, every TCP connection, or every 500 packets on huge tapes in the basements of uh, internet providers, phone companies, hotels, access point, net cafes, everything. So that's very, uh, a lot of logging is going on and we don't like it. And I don't have to explain that to you. Uh, another issue was the net filter. It started by what they call the child porn filter, blocking a lot of, of filters, uh, of uh, domains. And data were all in MP3 case were trying to go after uh, music sites and now with Pirate Bay just a few weeks ago. And it's not like we uh, want to promote uh, illegal copying or illegal activities, but we do mind when we start messing with the internet. Uh, that's, the internet is a lot more important than, for example, uh, popular music, in our opinion. Uh, and we call it blogging in quotes, because anyone in this room, of course, could avoid it just to use another DNS server. But it's a slippery slope, and, uh, and one day uh, we might make something that is a lot harder to circumvent already have that in Britain. The infrastructure are active, implementing all the bad things with the DMCA, so we are not allowed to uh, write programs that can uh, do our fair use copies and distribute them. And of course, this is not Denmark. In Denmark, you know, we travel a lot, small country, and we go to the US, Sierra, Cuba, a lot of countries where you might not be as sure as about who's listening into you when you're sitting in your hotel room and sending emails. And it's not only just about the police, it's also about the whole thing going on, uh, who's logging you when you're at work, if you're at school, are they checking what you're doing and so on. So we decided to do something about it. And we think that as open source developers, we have a special responsibility because, you know, this thing has to be fixed and we are the one who can fix it, especially the more technical issue of which I'll be talking about today. So we do it because it's fun, but we also do it because we feel we have to do it. So what you see here is, uh, is actually a member of parliament holding the first uh, copy of version of our politics in front of the parliament, that is the door of the parliament here. And that was uh, mailed out in 12,000 copies by POSA, who is a, a trade union in Denmark for IT professionals. And uh, that is, uh, demonstrates one of our purposes. We want to have a lot of technical interesting stuff on the CD, but we also want to get the attention of the politicians here. And once you get those two things, you do get the interest of the media, uh, and you do get the interest of uh, a bigger part of the population, uh, certainly a lot bigger part than uh, open source, uh, free software developers. And that's what many people have been talking to us already about Boston, you know, how do you actually promote this and get some interest about it, and that's what some of this talk will be happening up, uh, here about. So I will do it very, in a very high level way about the technical background, because it is a, a distribution, and of course there are thousands of packages, and we have been missing a lot of them, but that's details. The big picture is that we take a, a distribution. The first one we took was Nobix, and the one I have here is based on uh, Kubuntu. And we, in the future, we might try something else, like damn small Linux started as a specialized device. When we have a, a on the politics.org, you will find our SVN repository. And what is inside the SVN repository is just a, a little of our own code, but most of it is just scripts that configures and installs and set up stuff. So, you know, you take a Kubuntu in, you 
one will make command from the make file from our uh, SVN, and uh, you get an uh, ESO image that you can uh, burn to a CD, and you have this. Uh, one of my projects that I think is particularly interesting is, is doing the USB thing. Of course, we can put it on USB, and we have some scripts that is not working on this PC version yet. Uh, so you boot your, your Polybix uh, privacy CD, and you are anonymous on the net, and all the nice things, and your friend see, oh, that's cool, and he come and put your USB stick into your, your computer, and, you know, using DBoss, uh, it will say, oh, I see a USB stick. Is that because you would like me to install uh, Polybix on the USB stick? Uh, uh, and then it just copies itself directly from the CD and, and do the necessary installing things. And we have script for this working already. Uh, the interesting part here is, of course, well, it's a nice and easy way to install it, but also it's uh, decentralized. You don't have to download Polybix uh, from any, any place. And in some countries, it could be a problem even downloading uh, certain parts of free software. So in that way, you can spread it very uh, decentralized. We do, of course, have servers and mirrors where you can download for the big switch I will mention later. A little more technical details. That's the layout. That's a standard um, for most live CDs. You have a, a normal ISO 9660 uh, file system where we put our uh, text about what we are doing. We have some uh, promotion videos against DIM and uh, videos explaining what we are doing. And when you have some uh, comp uh, compressed uh, file system, uh, C-loop in Nobix and Squashafase in, in uh, Kubuntu, where we put our uh, software in. So I know you're all trying to know what exactly is on Polybix. And of course, what had the biggest effect so far is, uh, is we have a tour on. How many in here know tour? Uh, that's better for me. It's a little more than half of you. <laughs> uh, well, tour is onion rooting, so it, it's uh, just a way to be anonymous by rooting through uh, a random number of other members of the tour network, like an overlay network. And it's very nice. You, you can run through a per proxy, uh, uh, proxy server and uh, there's even an uh, extension in uh, Firefox for it, so it has a tour button so you can switch it on and off. Because uh, the uh, bad thing about tour is, of course, it does slow the net down, so it's fine for sending emails and reading text, but it's really bad for watching YouTube videos. Which is fine for us because we are interested in the more democratic uh, aspects of it. So you're someone who wants to, uh, or, or just privacy issues, so if you want to send an email to, to your wife. Uh, it's, it's, you don't need a fast network for, for that. So that's why the tour button is nice because you can turn it on when you really need it. We have Mac Changer on. Mac Changer is a uh, program that just uh, changes your uh, Mac address, the hardware address that identifies your computer. That is important if you put computer on another network. Uh, all of you that are sitting here uh, is being registered in routers, at least maybe not temp uh, permanently, but the router will know which computer is on. So if you had used Polybix when you uh, were booting your computer, it would just change all your hardware addresses on uh, every single uh, network interface. Uh, that means if you go to an internet cafe and you log on with Polybix, uh, there's no way they can trace the packets back to you. Even after the data retention, they can only track it back to the internet cafe, unless the internet cafe, of course, was asking for your identity. Uh, we have Twinkle on. Twinkle is a very nice uh, uh, SIP phone, internet phone. Uh, it also uses a uh, set RTP protocol from Sim uh, Simmerman, who invented the PDP, and it's just based on uh, verifying uh, fingerprints by uh, spelling them out, like on the ability to you to actually hear that it's your girlfriend in another machine. So that's, that's pretty secure. Uh, of course, we might still log it back to your computer, but if you use uh, Twinkle and you're sitting on a, a, a web cafe and you're using Mac Changer to, to come on it, we can trace it back to you. So you have uh, anonymity uh, and you also have files, privacy. We can't listen in and we can't track it back to you. And that's two different things that confuse a lot of people, but, uh, and that's another thing we're doing in, in Polybix products, try to educate journalists 
and others about uh, these issues. We have software like EFAAPE, so you can see what's going on in your network. It's not all about privacy. We have like uh, K3B and K9 copy just to say that it is actually legal, at least in some countries, to make a copy of your DVD. We might try to stop you, but we think it's an our right. So Polybic is about uh, protecting all our rights. Uh, same thing with Mplayer. Uh, you're allowed to play in Denmark, you're allowed to play in Region 1 DVD from the US, and Polybix does give you that option. Uh, for DNS, uh, blocking, so-called blocking, uh, we have different versions. Sometimes we just uh, want bind as a server on your uh, live CD, or we can just put in uh, DNS servers that uh, we know uh, do not censor. Only as a last research, uh, or sort we use the uh, DNS that you got from your DNS DHCP server because uh, some networks has, has firewalls, so that's the only option. We even have some Windows programs. Uh, the XP browser is a Tor combined with Firefox. Uh, we are considering other options. Uh, VLC, so a Windows user can play uh, DVDs from all regions, and especially so they can play with uh, our own videos that are also on the DVD. Fully an SSA system works for our own co uh, course. Uh, eraser is actually uh, a very simple program, but just erase your disk in a secure way. Uh, like Peter Good Goodman uh, proved was the right way. And um, a lot of people are actually happy about using that. So we really want to uh, have some help if someone knows about Windows because that is a good uh, reason to get uh, free software on Windows because Windows users, after all, deserve privacy too. So this all ties in with the four freedom of free software. It needs to be uh, able to run for any, any purpose so it can't be stopped. You need to study it so you know that we didn't put any backdoors. We need to distribute it, print or download thousands of DVDs, uh, CDs or in you to be able to improve it. And if it wasn't for free software, you know, it probably wouldn't exist. Someone would get a phone call saying you might make money on it, but it's probably a bad idea for you anyway. So we managed to get a lot of influence. That's Polybix in the CD, you know, to surveillance. It says every single Danish newspaper blocks, all TV channels. We are meeting with politicians. The Minister of Justice said she didn't like it. And that's a very good way to get the attention of the media. So we are trying uh, technical channelists, like putting on uh, USB sticks, embedded system, phones. We would like very much to go into network, make some open uh, mesh network things so we could, could get it even more decentralized. We have harder problems. Uh, how to uh, uh, sign keys. Email is not working well enough now. Technically it does, there's GP key and Thunderbird on, but actually Having a very nice system that ordinary users can use to get private email would be very nice. So we do some outreach. That was from 15 September last uh, year when we were having a demonstration. And that's something that got the attention of the media because it was news. It was on the right day. It was good pictures because we have these nice IT police uniforms. And uh, Polybix was already known. So that's what you have to do. And we want to thank the community. Uh, first time we made it. We have serious network problems, and is a, is a area has 1.6 gigabit. We just remember we are new, and you know the I have 100 megabit line, I have 100 megabit line, and it just in no time we had downloaded about 40,000 uh, images of recent Denmark for a small country. That's a lot. So that's my main point here: that uh, privacy and freedom are, are actually killer applications for free software. It's much more important than games because people have actually used it. In just one uh, that special week when we came up, we actually had more downloads of Polybix when Microsoft was able to sell Vista, and that was just after Vista came out. And, I, I <laughs> and that shows we just really need to show people that you know we do have an uh, opportunity. We can avoid some of this thing, and and of course there are things that you can avoid, like uh, cameras. But you know, using this, we also got the attention of the politicians. You can get more here and meet me outside.